Shalom. This video is about uh, the Dreyfus Affair, famous example of French anti-Semitism. Well, first of all, Jews got free rights as regular citizens in France in 1791, which was two years after the French Revolution. Jews, there's a long history of French anti-Semitism. They started being expelled in the late 1300s and then were completely out of France, uh, expelled by 1500, slowly came back. But even after their free rights uh, in 1791, things were not that great. So what happened was, you go now to 1894, which is 100 years after supposedly Jews had free uh, equal rights in France, and there was a significant anti-Semitism. Uh, this officer in the uh, uh, Alsatian Jewish military was convicted of treason, uh, completely trumped up charges. What happened was uh, that there was evidence that was doctored uh, supposedly in his handwriting, although handwriting experts clearly indicated that it was um, uh, not his handwriting, but the main expert testimony that they had for against him was that he forged his own handwriting with calculated discrepancies. Kind of ridiculous charge that he was committing in a secret memorandum found in uh, wastebackers at the German embassy, French military secrets. There was a shot investigation by the French high command that decided he was a spy and um, accused of high treason. The right wing uh, papers and the Catholic press uh, kind of betrayed their uh, approval. He was tried, found guilty, and sentenced to Devil's Island. And finally, after it was discovered that pieces of evidence implicating him had been forged, and the real spy who was arrested, it was years before his innocence was actually officially acknowledged. Uh, but what really happened was it startled the Jewry of France. And Zola, in a, fa a famous article called Jaya Kuz, uh, talked about the incident, and it was one of the things that inspired and triggered enthusiastic Zionism among men, many uh, Jewish lay people, including Theodore Herzl. And it wasn't there uh, that long after when Herzl, basically not a wealthy man, not a powerful man, but because of his sheer will, organized the first Zionist Congress in Basel, Switzerland in 1897. And from then on, even though Dreyfus was uh, finally exonerated years later, uh, this Zionist movement led to the Balfour Declaration in Britain saying the Jews had a right to a homeland in the land of Israel, and finally the UN vote in 1947. So an example of interesting, fairly late French anti-Semitism, uh, 1894, and then finally Dreyfus exonerated in 1906, but a very interesting historical moment, uh, and uh, one that had great consequences for historical uh, the world and the Jewish